Oh my God. Here come the brainless summer and look like Abby on Team Vip the all day. I squ Abby, I thought you was against Victor. Now you are now you with him I'm talking about so, oh the verdict went that was quick. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I thought you was against Victor. Now you with him again. Would y'all damn Newman women please make up y'all pathetic minds who side y'all gonna be on? My many you on this side, the next minute you on this side. Would y'all hoes please make up y'all damn mind? We already know some is a lost cause. She'll flop anywhere the wind blows. But Abby, I thought you was done and over with this bullshit victim and did. Now you back on his side again. You know what? I have no words for you. No words for you at all, Abby. So Phyllis could find into Billy or how she gonna turn off her feelings and her emotion over Victor ass and what he did to her. Miss Insecure Victoria walks in there wondering if they fit the fuck, if they fit the kids, if they fit the cutter or what. But she don't give a fuck. She gonna let her insecurity be known that she don't appreciate Phyllis and Billy getting that close together. And she talking about some, this time I show you with your pants on. Really, bitch? Really? Victoria? Girl, I'm going to pray for you because you need a prayer in a miracle. And that's all I'm going to say about you. Oh, Lord, for the drunken lush here, Nikki, worried, concerned, wondering what's going to happen. Bit to always been there for her. Whatever she going to do with her life, is she going to get her old ass back on the pole? Is she going to shake her ass for a dollar or a coin? And... See, that's what happens when you drink, Nick. And now Nick then came and got your old tired ass. Like you're talking about, and where is that? I supposed to go home. Where is home? Yeah, I, did you forget your ex why I burnt in ham? Nick, you see, that's why you don't drink. Because you always, see, you second guessing yourself. You did the right damn thing. You should you should be congratulating yourself. Not sitting there wondering what the fuck going to happen to you next. Girl, you is not fit to be homeless and you are not fit to be broke, girl. You got too many friends in that damn town for you to be either or. So you need to cool it and leave the alcohol alone. That's all I'm going to do. Bravo, bravo. Bit the filing went down for some boys. What went down for some shit. And Christine, congratulations, you finally won the fucking case. Matter of fact, a bit fucking case at this time. And some old, we not going there with Summer. See, that they crying about to cry a fucking river. Won't you take your ass with him? I'm pretty sure your tired ass gonna be visiting him every damn day or every damn chance you get. But Christine, congratulations. You finally won a big case. I, you should be proud of yourself. I hope they give you a raise by finally putting Victor away. Congratulations to you, Christine Bug. I'm finally giving you some praise. Now, don't fuck it up. No. Okay, Mr. Victor Newman Jackass. You had me in this close. This close. And then you had to go and fuck it up with this damn pathetic ass speech. Your family didn't betray you. No, motherfucker. They got tired of your ass and what you did to Jack and Phyllis. That took them over fucking board. They did the right thing. Turn your ass in. Cause they sick of your ass. We ain't gonna, we gonna, we, Nikki gonna have nightmares dreaming about your ass, what she did. She said that about to bust her damn scenes. Ain't no telling she wanna run this way or run to the next thing. Run to the other way. And what else? I want to say something else, but I can't think of it right now. Oh, but bitch, you did have, you had me, homie. I'm glad you accepted your, your guilty plea, and you is guilty. But don't try to throw that guilt trip on your fucking family like that. You shouldn't have did what you did. Soon or later, you should have not going to come at the bite between your ass. Talk about I don't want no mercy, because I think that's weak. Oh, okay. You know what? They might have gave it to this guilty plea. But I got a feeling Vit the ass for to get off.
you know, he go to prison, he might get beat up or something, something medically gonna make his um his term get um like he won't have to go to prison. That what I think for the happiness. How much y'all wanna be it? He gonna go to prison like he deserved to. His hair probably gonna decline. So they probably gonna have him at home on house arrest. But he can still cause terror to everybody. How much you wanna bet he ain't fit to go to prison? Not that long he ain't. Cause he got epilepsy and everything thing else under the sun. So I'm pretty sure he ain't gonna stay in prison that long. Watch. So Victor for his crimes get 10 years. And the judge said, your law is not on trial. Your actions are 10 years. Now suck on that motherfucker. Yeah, okay, 10. You'll be lucky if Victor do six damn months in jail before he out again for epilepsy or something like that. Because I know he got a host of medical problems. Yeah, fucking right. Okay, 10. I'm going to hold my breath. Oh my gosh, Christine, you bitch, you just want the fucking case. Now you on Phyllis' case, talking about Michael. Girl, grow up, leave Phyllis alone, let that woman enjoy her victory. Hell, she a victim, she got a right to gloat. I bet you, I, you remember when you went after her ass or running your ass over them, them years ago, and you turned that gloating and want to prosecute her? Okay, then let that woman glow. We let you glow. Now you look tired here for sit down somewhere and leave that woman alone. She a victim. She have every right to glow and get in her feelings if she want to. Talk about the case. You almost lost the case. No thanks to you. Girl, sit your tired ass down somewhere. So, before Victor heads off the prison for a few days, where he find a way to get his ass out of jail, out of prison, he t the family say, we gonna hear, we heard every word you said in the courtroom. We gonna stay our family. We gonna sit together. Victor says, y'all no longer my family. Y'all all dead to me. And just walk on off. And that was the episode. And I'd like to thank you for watching. So tell a friend, tell a kin, tell that helpful you had, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.